Hello everyone, it's uh, Press to Play here once again. This is day number 14 of Beatles Month in which uh, every single day I'm going to try my best uh, to post a uh, Beatles related video for you. And uh, today I thought I would talk about the lyrics by Paul McCartney, but before I get into the lyrics, um, I just wanted to take a moment to give a huge shout out to uh, a wonderful uh, YouTuber and his name is uh, Beetle Destino, and I've been following his site for a while now. So if you're a Beatles fan, but not just a Beatles fan, he goes into other stuff too, just like I do. Um, but he's his collection's awesome. He's very um, knowledgeable about the Beatles and, and music in general. He's very passionate about it, and uh, I just love his channel. It's 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 become one of my favorite uh, channels to go to, and I think. The reason I like it so much is because Vino Destino, um, he's just so laid back. He's so humble, he's laid back, and he's just a super nice guy. Um, and I, I really enjoy watching his content. So anyway, if you haven't heard of him, what I'll do, I'm not, now he has really nice videos. He does all this fancy smancy stuff, whereas I'm like, you know, <laughs> I don't do anything fancy. I just kind of do a one take deal. Um, so I can't show his site and stuff. I don't have the, uh, I'm not, I don't know how to even do all that stuff. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link down below if you want to go check him out. And uh, please do. He's just a really nice guy. Really nice guy. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the lyrics. And this is uh, this amazing, wonderful book that Paul McCartney uh, put out a few years ago now. Um, and I was so excited to get this because I've always wanted a book um on paul's lyrics not just the beatles but his some of his solo material as well and it's there's pros and cons i'll, I'll give you my thoughts on it as we go through it but <clears throat> there's uh three different variations you can get there's the american version there's the um this is the um uk version and then there's a cheaper paperback version and they all have the same content um we'll briefly talk about the paperback version then i'll get into more I'll, I'll go in, into more depth on the um, box sets. But it's, it's, it's the same content as these at a much more affordable price. It has This is all like embossed on here. It's quite nice. And a nice picture of Paul there. And then there's the back. Picture of Paul at the piano. And again, it's a very well put together book. It's got some really nice photographs and things in there too. And uh, it's it's a... Yeah, he goes into some pretty uh, obscure McCartney tracks as well, and it's quite recent. It goes up to, uh, you know, um, Egypt Station, which was at the time the album that had just come out. So it's pretty, it's pretty up to date. One hundred and sixty-one songs that he talks about in here. So you have this option where you have the paperback version, which I recommend because it's the most affordable, and you get all the same content anyway. And then. Um, the, again, the content is the same. The box sets are beautiful. They're very heavy. Um, I just like to have them. Now, I never opened the American version because I like the UK version better. I just like the, the cover better. Um, so I'm not going to open this one, but I will go through the uh, UK box set just so you can kind of see what's on the inside in case you haven't seen it before. But on the um, American one, this is all embossed here as well. It has Paul McCartney, the lyrics. Very plain looking, though. And here is what the side looks like. And on the back, they have they include a little leaflet here about the book. And what I like most about it is uh, the spine. I like they have Paul McCartney's picture here, two halves of his face, and they come together to make Paul, which is kind of neat. And uh, it's quite nice. And then we'll put this aside because I want to go into more detail on on the UK box set. And then this is the UK box set. And I really like the cover of this. I love the picture that Mike McCartney took for the cover of Chaos on Creation in the Backyard. So I really, really like the look of this better. This is all embossed here as well. Quite nice. There is the side. So it kind of wraps right around. And then there's uh, the back has the same uh, image as the front. And then this is just a little more plain, it just has Paul McCartney, the lyrics. And again, this is embossed on here as well. Quite nice, there's nothing on the uh, other sides. Let's take these out and take a look at them. I'll 
the books are gorgeous, really, really nice. And again, this also comes with um, the leaflet that is on the back. And I think they're the same. Yeah, they are. They're the same. Oh, ah, a little different. You can kind of see how they're a little bit different. This is the US and this is the UK. So a little bit uh, different. Okay, so we'll put this aside for now. Take a look at the books. Beautiful uh, images of Paul here. Very heavy, heavy, heavy books. I love the uh, photographs of, of McCartney. Maybe I'm amazed. My favorite Mac solo McCartney track was yesterday. So we'll go through, just kind of leaf through the books with you. This is A to K. And look at these awesome photos. That's what the actual cover looks like, in case you're wondering. That has the average person. I'll just take this right off and show you. You can see the whole thing here. I like, I really like that. And then Band on the Runs on the back. And again, look at these uh, amazing photographs. A very young Paul there, dedicated to his wife Nancy, his mom and dad, Mary and Jim. So there's all the songs that he writes about. And it's interesting, again, because he goes through, you know, big Beatle hits like All My Loving. But then he throws in some obscure McCartney tracks like Arrow Through Me, Average Person. You know, unless you have the album, you wouldn't, or are a big McCartney fan like me, but you wouldn't really know those songs. Um, Come and Get It, the song he wrote for Badfinger. Confidant off Egypt Station. Despite Repeated Warnings off Egypt Station again. Then there's Eat at Home, just looking through some of them. Golden Earth Girl, I've always liked that track. Goodbye, he writes about. Uh, Hope of Deliverance, House of Wax. So it's a pretty, uh, look at all these songs he writes about, it's just crazy. On My Way to Work, Old Siam, sir. So he has some like, um, just out of sight, nothing too much is out of sight. Songs that are not very common, that some people wouldn't be aware of, like San Ferry Ann, Picasso's Last Words, Off Band on the Run, Tell Me Who He Is, Petty Boy. So it's, it's quite interesting. Okay, then there's a little write-up at the beginning, a forward by Paul McCartney. And then a note to the reader, and then he gets right into it. Look at these great, great pictures, though. Beautiful photographs. We'll just leaf through it. There's, so what I like about the book is uh, the writers, uh, the artist, Wings, uh, where it was recorded, when it was released. This was the B-side of Silly Love Songs in 1976. It does include the lyrics, and then he talks a little bit about the meaning behind the lyrics. And I love the photographs that he includes as well to go with the songs. Sometimes he has the uh, written lyrics. I can relate to this, Paul. I, I don't like to admit this, but I have far too many guitars today. Way too many. <laughs> That's my problem at the moment. I know exactly what you're talking about, Mr. McCartney, or Sir McCartney, I should say. Very cool. Look at this uh, crazy... Uh, setup he has going here. That was probably during McCartney 2. Come and get it. There's Check My Machine. Carry that weight. Now, you know, and it, it doesn't bother me at all, to be honest with you. But he has some of the Beatle tracks. He does flip the songwriting um, credits. So he has Paul McCartney and John Lennon versus Lennon McCartney, whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all. Whatever. Who cares? whatever way he wants to write it. And I don't blame him in a way. If he feels he was the the main songwriter, the only songwriter, he wants to get credit where it's deserved, whatever. I have no I have no problem with that. Can't Buy Me Love, again, McCartney and John Lennon. That was from A Hard Day's Night. Look at these gorgeous photos, though. Beautiful pictures. 
Blackbird. So I guess the only thing to be cautious of, I mean, this is, I'm stating the obvious here, but I mean, this is going to be biased, of course. It's going to be written from the perspective of Paul McCartney and what he remembers all those years ago. And I'm sure if John was alive or George and you asked one of them and Ringo too, I'm sure they would have a say that they did this or they did that or he's got this wrong. So again, this is a very one-sided. It's from Paul McCartney's perspective. So if you read the book with that in mind, it's um it's very 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 interesting to hear his take on it or his interpretation as his contribution to these songs or if he wrote the song entirely on his own too um so it's it's interesting to hear his perspective so if you look at it in that light um you'll find it quite enjoyable there's yesterday and maybe I'm amazed I mean, I remember there was a Much Music interview with George Harrison, and they asked him why John Lennon was upset with him over the book he, he released. And uh, George says something like, um, I can't remember exactly what he said, but John was very upset with him because he didn't mention him in his book, or he didn't give him credit for some of the, um, his contributions to some of George's songs. And then George said, well, you know, um, you know, I never complained when, you know, John went on about songs that he wrote, and I've contributed to them, but he he doesn't mention me kind of a deal. There's always that competition between them, and uh, it's all good. It's just human nature. But it's it was a long time ago. And Penny Lane, just in, it was the um, Lennon-McCartney team together that made them so incredible and special, and they both influenced each other tremendously. But they were both geniuses in their own right, in my opinion. George as well. Um, beautiful picture of Paul there that was on the Peter McCartney album. And again, some obscure ones in here as well. Like We Got Married of Flowers in the Dirt. The World You're Coming Into. Um, she's Given Up Talking of Driving Rain, I believe. I just noticed he has this one on here twice. Nothing too much that's out of sight. Hmm. Oh, I know what it means. Oh, my goodness. I need my... No, this doesn't make any sense. Because there's some repeats in here. Hold on a minute. Let's go back. If you look on this one, why did I see those songs on here? Yeah, nothing too much is out of sight. Oh, I see. Okay, so in volume one, what the, he did was he includes all, there's volume two, now it makes sense. Okay, so he's got volume one and volume two. I was really thrown off there for a minute, now it makes sense. And on this one, he just has volume two, he doesn't include volume one. Okay, I thought I was getting uh, ripped off there for a minute. I thought, wait a minute. Give me the same thing twice. Anyway, great photo of uh, Mr. McCartney there. This is Lady Madonna. Look at these uh, great pictures. Jimmy, he was a phenomenal guitarist. No More Lonely Nights. I love, love that track. Back in 1984. I remember buying that album when it came out. This is Nancy was uh, My Valentine, Mollick and Tyre. Just beautiful pictures. There's uh, the lovely Linda. Maybe I'm amazed. Look at that. I love that song, Magneto and Titania Men. You know, sneeze here. I'm trying to hold off a sneeze. Some days, there's driving rain. Look at that great young McCartney there. Great photo of uh, McCartney in his younger years. Bathroom window. I love that he includes the, the uh, lyrics here as well. Beautiful photo of Paul there. That's from the Put It There uh, single, I believe. Yeah.
beautiful track from Flowers in the Dirt. Please please me. Pipes of Peace. Go back writer. But again, these uh, there's some Andy Warhol there. But beautiful pictures. It's cool that they include all the lyrics. So I don't know. I mean, if you're, I guess the big difference, if you go with the cheaper version, which I do recommend, it's all going to be black and white. You're not going to get the color photos. I mean, the paper quality is not as nice. I guess it's, the experience won't be as nice, I guess. It's all, if you just want the content, I mean, this is the way to go. But again, if you look at the pictures, they aren't very snazzy. Whereas look at this one, right? And the paper is really nice. So you get the full color photos. So this, if you're on a budget, go with the paperback. <laughs> if you can afford it, go with the uh, hardcover, I guess. It is much, much, much nicer. There's Martha. Anyway, and that's when I'm 64. And then Penny Lane on the other side. So anyway, there's the lyrics by Paul McCartney. And again, this is the UK version, which comes in the much nicer, I think. Um, it's got the Chaos and Creation cover there, which is very snazzy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you're new to my channel, if you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to uh, subscribe. And if you click the bell, you will be notified when I post new videos and things. Again, please go visit uh, uh, Beetle Dustino. It's just, it's just a really nice guy. I, I really enjoy his channel. Um, you will not regret it. He's a just a great guy. Anyway, take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you tomorrow, day 15 of Beatles Month. Okay, take care. Bye for now.